Winter is coming. Hello folks. This is my winter coat. Uh, it's a sheepskin. I lovingly refer to it as my huggy bear coat. Um, if there are any vegans out there who just dropped their reconstituted almond milk, don't worry. Uh, this is from the 70s, so it was made before I was even born, so I'm recycling. Um, since winter is coming, it's time to do some repairs on this. Um, two of the buttons are missing, and it's torn in places. Uh, here on the lapel, you can see it's split. I, I have tried to repair this several times simply by gluing these two edges together. Um, it doesn't work too good. The pockets, the edges of the pockets are still okay. It tends to go there. Somewhere else it tends to go is on the arse flaps here. That one's still surviving from last time I repaired it, but mainly under the armpit right there. You see that's splitting. Um, Two more oaky cokies and my armpit hair is going to start looking like Reynolds finds his beard, right? So that needs that needs doing. Uh, see, that's what's holding it on that bit there. Now here's the big idea. Obviously, um, just gluing it edge to edge isn't strong enough. And on the lapels here, I've even tried to use some cord to stitch it as well as glue it and that has also busted again multiple times so here's my plan right. here I have some sheets of leather uh, soft leather off cuts so what I'm intending to do um, is to present these two edges to each other and likewise under the armpit cut the appropriate shape out of leather and just slap that on with some copy decks right i've tried taking this to um dry cleaners i've tried taking it to seamstresses and they won't touch it for some reason it seems to scare them they say you need to take it to a specialist uh leather specialist a specialist leather specialist right so fuck that for a fucking load of old bollocks. Uh, let's give it a try at home, shall we? Okay, first things first, I'm gonna reattach the buttons. I have them here. Uh, I won't teach Granny to suck eggs. A child of three could reattach a button, correct? However, I will give you one piece of advice for anyone who's got a problem with buttons that keep on falling off. Um, for shirt buttons, Normal cotton is fine, okay, because there's a load of them and they're not under much stress. But this jacket is quite fitted, um, and all of the stress is put on usually two or maybe three of these buttons. Okay, it's rare that I button up the top and bottom one. So, as well as putting a button on the back, luckily these ones still survive. Put a button on the back um, to spread the load across the across the uh, the the the, fab, the the leather here because sheepskin is pretty weak that will stop the string from simply pulling through the leather another tip is to use some more heavy duty thread okay cotton just ain't man enough i th these two are held on with this shit uh weasels needles what the fuck this is that waxed waxed cotton shit. There's a there's a there's a name for this which I can't bring to mind. It's not Draylon, is it? No. Um, waxed thread. These two are still holding, so I'm not going to fuck around with them. Um, but I've decided to step it up. I've got this stuff from Hobbycraft, and this is brown boot lace thin, and I use this on some of my necklaces. This is quite thick cord and it's stronger than anything I've used before. 
So if I can get this through a needle, I'm going to use this. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this, and then we'll get to the PS de resistance. Just leaving a little bit of slack there um, to make room for that. Um, you know, doesn't have to, you don't have to fucking yank on it like you're swigging a rope. You know what I mean? Shit. All right, and it's that easy. Hopefully that will last a while. Now, for the big questions. <sighs> yeah, that's okay. Now, have these eyelids look, are they? going yeah we've got three out of four and that ain't bad should we start with the uh, start with the lapels here shall we now this one is still holding but if I'm going to put a little bit of a little triangle of leather here I guess I should even it up right Right, where's the liver? Okay, I guess I want it to be about four centimeters long or forty mil.
and about 20, 25 mil. So if I do a if I do a 40 by 40 square and cut it in half, there's my two triangles, right? If you're wondering whether a square is square, measure it corner to corner. See if the match see if the lengths match. If they don't, your square ain't square. It's not 10,000 miles away, is it? Now, theoretically, there's no need for me to glue that crack giggity before I slap this on, is there? If I slap that on, that should hold it wholesale. Just need to make sure that's lined up real nice before I go near it with the glue. And if copied eggs has taught me anything over the years, it's to have a piece of fucking kitchen roll ready. Copied eggs, good shit. I was I was a big proponent of this leather glue that I found on uh, Amazon once, but this stuff seems to be good for everything. Another alternative, if you need some really hard wearing leather wear, is Evo stick. McDonald's stirrer, coffee stirrer. If you snap it off clean, makes a nice little edge cleaner for this shit. Okay, 
Okay, so far so good. One nasty habit that Copydex has, it's very easy to spread it too thinly and for it to go tacky. You see that there, the way it went stringy? You need it to be wet when you apply it, otherwise it won't grab properly. Um, well, it just won't work. All right, all right, all right. I found this jacket. I, want, I knew I wanted one of these jackets, not from watching <laughs> Only Fools and Horses, although a lot of people who shout at me in the street seem to think so. It was watching Triple X when I was like 13, you know, coolest fucking guy ever, Triple X. And when he goes to Prague, he's got a jacket a bit like this. Um, and I had my eye out for one for psh, shit 10 years. And I finally came across one in the in the flagship top man of all places in London. Um, they have a, or they did have a uh, vintage section. All right, good enough for going to the pub, eh? Now, here's the big question. See, I've fucked around with this so much. Um, that it's a bit of a mess in here. And here we are, gluing the furry side of it. Right. Now, really, I'm thinking we need to get down to the sort of bedrock. I need to get rid of this fur, don't I? Um, if I want the glue to stick properly. I could just put three gallons of it on and slap it on, but I found in the past where I've done other bits of this fucking thing, the, the hair will eventually uh, bust and it will let go. Um, the other option is to, I don't know whether this is obvious, um, but you can put that much of this fucking glue on that it just... It, it soaks the fucking fur and sticks it flat. That doesn't look too clever neither, does it? So, I'll tell you what. Well, first things first, let's have a logical think about how this needs to be done. Because it goes around a bend there, doesn't it? It bends in that plane and it also bends in that plane. So it can't be just a, a rectangular strip. I need to cut some sort of centipede looking thing with legs and a central spine, don't I? In order to go around two planes without putting some wacky stresses on the fucking thing and making it look weird. I was going to neaten up a bit with my bollock trimmer. I think that's the, I think that's the best way to go. Um, let me have a quick think about the shape of this before I do that. Actually. This split's a bit worse than I thought. It hasn't just gone down the seam, it's actually ventured off into the fucking... ventured off into that panel. I know it ain't. 
mate, just gone around that corner, look. So I do need to strengthen that, otherwise it's just going to start following down there, right? Needs to be about 30 mil across at this end and extend at that end. 45 would probably do it. Kind of like something a bit like that. And it wants to be. 120, 130 long. Why is the Sharpie always on the floor? Maybe something a little bit like that, yeah? Shit. <coughs> this can be Corona. This can be square at the ends. Remind me, some, bastard. Remind me to stick some paper in there, wouldn't you, before I start slapping glue all over the fucking place. All right. Yeah. All right. So, pretty mark the centre line of this little doodads here. And my intention, basically, is to punch holes in this thing. Uh, 
uh, and then cut slots in it to make a series of little frongs that will cling to the sheepskin without and strengthen it without having too much adverse effect on how it bends. So if I make these frongs about 10 mil wide, Right, I've got this handy dandy hole punch here and basically what I'm planning to do is punch a load of holes along the length of this so when I cut the slits they won't split. If I just cut slots in that, um, well you'll see what I mean, if I just cut slots in that without punching these holes in there's a chance they might split you know. Is that going to be big enough? Giggly? Yeah, fuck it, probably. See what I'm doing there? And now, if I put slices in here. We should end up with this sort of thing, you see. And basically, it should be more flexible in both this way and that way. Uh, that's the theory, anyway, but still be strong enough to hold this together. Well, I need to shave it, don't I? First things first. I said I was going to shave it. Shawn the sheep. Whether them bollock clippers will go through this fucking shit is anybody's guess, but let's give it a try. Thank you. 
Funny to think, man, I'm, I'm trimming the hair of a sheep that's been dead for fucking 50 years. That's bizarre, isn't it? I ain't getting very far very quick with this. I think, I think, I was taking some of it off, but I think we're just going to have to go for the 70 gallons of glue approach. All we want to do is eat your brains. We're not unreasonable. Right, now how do I go about doing this? Thinking if I stick just the central spine down first, and then I can think about what to go to do next because this is currently inside out, which means if I stick it down now, it'll want to be in a different position, right? So, but I should be able to do the central central bit without much problem, I reckon. Right, there's the end there. Right. Come along here. To there. And then I can stick all that shit down like so. Yeah. Try that to start with. Here's the scene I want to follow. Then get the fucking hand inside there. So all I'm doing is matching that up with that, that spine up with that seam. That'll bring us around to our army pity there. Bugeration, that's right on the end. Shouldn't have done that there. Fuck it. Whatever. In for a penny, in for a pound. Shit. Okay, so what we are left with here is this thing that is glued down the middle with all these loose frongs, right? <coughs> which I hope, excuse me, to, I just had dinner, which I hope to um, use to seal these fucking hairs.
You know, I'll twist that bastard fucking lens the right way one of these days. Okay, let's start with these two bad boys. There's the hole there. We've got it here. If I just put some glue on there and go... Stingy with the glue. All right. Now, try and get that where it wants to be. Stick them tabs down. Now, unless I'm overlooking something fucking obvious, I'm thinking this should work quite nicely. Seal the gap, seal the gap, press down on that, sticky sticky. Mm -hmm. Now I'm kind of doing this in the dark, obviously I'm looking at this from the inside and I can't see the outside. Hopefully, um, I'm not making some sort of fucking horrendous pig's ear of this on the outside and it looks okay when I, when I come to turn it the right way round. Now there's the big long split there, so I've got to try and capture that. Not perfect, but hopefully it'll stop the arm falling off. Why are they bending? Why are they doing this instead of that? Don't overthink it, man. Just get on with it.
Quippy is going to throw this on to make sure it hangs in the right aspect. What the fuck was that? Squashing me arm down on there a little bit. <coughs> make sure that, Corona, make sure that's nice and in the right sort of sh aspect there. Tell you what, that might be a bit Heath Robinson, but I'll bet you that will hold that there. I bet that's, I bet that's secured that a lot stronger than any amount of fucking stitching. Now, let's just try and neaten up these old rules, these hair rules, a little bit, and we'll call it a day, I think. So one nice thing about this copy deck shit, it like, if you stick it in a hole and then press the hole closed, it tend, well, it tend, on this fabric anyway, because it's very fibrous with the hair on it there, it tends to just putty up the hole. You know what I mean? It tends to, it seems to form a, an almost plastic uh, skin and it just, it's just sealed. Sealed that there, look. See my bloody previous attempt there, I'll slap a bit more on there. When it mixes in with the, uh, the wool. I guess you would call it, wouldn't you? Sheep hair is wool. And it forms almost like a... What's the word for that shit they used to make Tudor houses out of? And there you have it. I should say jobs are good and on that. Um, it might not be pretty, but I bet it's strong. And at the end of the day, that's what I want because I think this jacket, uh, at this point in the game, it's more of a workhorse than it is a <laughs> a fashion piece. Thanks for watching. I've been chatting Squit. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Please do subscribe. It takes about two minutes to make a YouTube account and it will be doing me a real favour. Catch you next time.